with EC QuickBooks training. In today's video, I'm going to review the Vendor Center in QuickBooks Online. We're going to go over um, the features under the vendors and we're going to see what we can do and what we cannot do. So let's get started. To access the Vendor Center, you can click on Expenses on the left hand navigation bar and we're going to go under Vendors. And at the top here, there are two um, tabs, just like they were here. But I wanted to go over the vendors first. Um, as you can see, and we can actually collapse that, um, there are a couple things that we can do here. Let's clear the filters. Now, looking at this, we can see any open purchase orders. We can see overdue items or bills. We can see all bills and what has been paid in the last 30 days under the batch uh, batch actions we can select the vendors and we can actually do batch items as email pay bills and also make the vendors inactive so we can also email um, the vendors if we need to so it just will bring up your email um, provider and that will email the vendors that you have selected. And also we have this gear icon where we can see or remove these columns. So we can remove the address, we can remove the phone number or the email or the attachments and just look at the vendor name and open balance. We can also include inactive vendors if there is any. We can also um, export the vendor list um, and it will export um, Excel. We can print the vendor list. If we select all, we can print. It'll print all the, the vendors, the vendor list that we have selected here. And we can also, oh, as you can see, I accidentally rearranged the columns. You can also do that. Um, up here under the buy new vendors, you can import vendors. There is a uh, sample file that you can use to import. And you can also prepare 1099s. Now, this is not in all subscriptions. I believe it starts with the plus. Um, so let's see. And yeah, you can pay bills, order checks. When you select on um, add new vendor or when you're um, editing a vendor, this is the information that you can edit and needs to fill out. Also, depending on the subscription that you have, you may have more, more information that you can add. Under the expense tab, uh, we have this filter which we can actually um there's several things we can do also view deleted voided transactions we can view all bill payments so those are all the bill payments we can view credit card payments if we only want to see the bills we can do that too all the bills and we can also um just select a vendor that we want to to see like telephone um also it, we can filter by a category um let's see if there's anything yeah we can filter by category if maybe we remember where we you know enter the car category but we don't remember the vendor we can select that the category section we can filter by uh, this year custom date um, so this is a, a neat feature to um, to use the filter when um, let's see let me clear these out we can also let me do a bill when we click on the bill we can also use uh, the category or the items detail now I'm going to um, put a, a link to a video I did of what the difference was um, but the, I did that for um, the desktop version 
the same thing applies to QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to link it somewhere here. So up here to the right uh, top, right? So you can click on it and watch it if you want to see what the difference is between the two. Um, you can schedule payments. You can mark them as paid. You can copy the bill, view, edit the bill, delete the bill. And up here, you can also do time activity, um, new transactions. You could do an expense and a check, purchase orders. Um, you can print the checks and pay bills. So um, these are the actions. Um, columns, you can also remove columns or add columns. Okay and you can also have compact and you can also export you can print the list that you're viewing you can print batch actions you can print or categorize selected okay and um and i think that's pretty much it that's what i wanted to show you it's pretty easy to add a bill or expense or a check um, when needed. So this is the review of the vendor center. I hope that you find it um, useful and try using the filter. Um, this is really interesting when I reset it. Um, yeah, try uh, using the filter, the deleted ones. If there was deleted transactions, it would show you there. Oh, um, it takes you, it looks like it takes you to the audit log, okay? So um, please don't forget to subscribe for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.